Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today. I am going to recap a 1994 drama thriller film, Name Scorned. So, let's begin. Truman Langley is asleep when his wife wakes him up. She fears that there is an intruder in the house. Truman and his wife start investigating only to find a drugged up girl passed out on the sofa. The couple has been married for quite a time, and Patricia always puts up with her husband's party habits. Elsewhere, Alex Weston walks into his kitchen for his morning coffee. His wife, Marina, is already awake and getting ready to head off to her designer job. Their house manager, Belle, reminds them that it is their son's birthday. The busy couple simply promises to spend time with their son later that evening. Their son, Roby, overhears the conversation. After the parents leave, Belle wishes Roby a happy birthday by giving him a cake and gifting him a bracelet. Roby drives to school and stands by his truck waiting for someone. A girl is dropped off and Roby approaches her. He invites her over at his place, but the girl politely declines. She also claims that she is kind of seeing somebody. The rejection makes Roby angry, and he skips school that day. Truman works at a real estate agency, and he has been looking forward to getting the partnership position as one of the partners is retiring. He purchases a red Ferrari and flaunts it to Patricia, who feels that Truman is stretching their finances is thin. Truman dismisses her and promises that everything will be okay soon. He intends to land a huge client, Mason Wainwright as this will help ease his promotion. At work, his assistant mentions that the bosses have been in a meeting with a man called Alex Weston. That evening, Truman goes home with Mason. Mason flirts with Patricia relentlessly until Patricia cannot take it anymore. When she complains to Truman, he urges her to give in to the perverted man, as this will increase their chances of financial success. Patricia has no option but to give in, even though the man touching her makes her skin crawl. Alex finds out that his son had skipped school. He confronts the boy and ends up taking his car keys. Alex wants Roby to improve his grades so that he can attend a prestigious school over the summer, as this will help increase his chances at getting into a better university. Roby is angry at his father, but Alex claims it to be business. Alex tries to get intimate with his wife, but she shrugs him off. Marina is a health freak who is always taking one supplement after another, and this has lowered her sexual energy. The next day, Day, Truman is in a foul mood, but he hopes that the partnership will make up for how he had his wife violated. Unfortunately, his boss tells him that the partnership will go to Alex, as he is renowned in the industry and is a better addition to the company. Furthermore, Truman will have to shift to an office that is one floor down, as Alex will now take his office. Truman does not only get denied the promotion, but gets demoted. That night, he shares the news with his wife. The next morning, Truman gets ready to go to work. Patricia is surprised at this since Truman never gets in the office on Sunday. Truman walks into his office, ignoring the cleaning lady. A few minutes later, the cleaning lady hears a gunshot and rushes to Truman's office. She is horrified when she discovers that he has blown his brains out. The news about her husband's death deeply devastates Patricia. A few days later, she goes to the office building. Here, she learns that Mason is moving on with the deal, but he will be working with Alex. This makes Patricia angry as she remembers how she had to service Mason the other night. She also wonders what sacrifice Alex has done to get her husband's job. Patricia learns that the company will not be giving her Truman's life insurance due to the nature of his demise. Enraged, Patricia starts looking through Alex's personal effects when she is let in the office to pick up Truman's things. Soon, she sets her plan in motion. First, she visits Mason at his house. She shoots him in broad daylight before fleeing the scene. She then stalks Alex's house and sees Roby being picked up by his friends. She follows him to his school. Here, she pretends to be an interested parent while stealing some school documents. That night, she composes a letter to Roby's parents. She claims that Roby will need a tutor if he is to be sent to the summer school. She also gives the names of some preferred tutors, but ensures that most names are bogus. She includes her phone number, but addresses herself as Amanda. The next day, she gets a call from Marina. Marina asks her if she is available to tutor Roby and Patricia quickly confirms. She goes to see the family that evening. Roby is immediately attracted to her beauty, and he desperately wants her to be his tutor. When Patricia mentions that her apartment is undergoing renovations, Roby is quick to mention that she could stay at the guest house. Patricia acts modest about it, but the lovely couple wants her to stay as close as possible so that she can teach Roby at her convenience. 
The next day, Patricia picks Roby from school while dressed provocatively. Roby quickly becomes infatuated with his tutor. Patricia also befriends Marina, seeing as most of the time she is always tired due to her intake of Valium. Patricia begins dosing Marina's coffee and wine with Valium to make her addicted. One night, Roby bounces his ball across the yard, so he goes to retrieve it. He witnesses Patricia touching herself in pleasure. Unfortunately, he is caught by Belle, who reprimands his actions. Shortly, Belle leaves for the weekend, leaving only Patricia and Roby home as the parents were attending Alex's work meeting. Patricia walks to Roby's room. She warns him against peeping at her again, saying that if he wants to look at something, all he has to do is knock at her door. After she leaves, Roby realizes what she had said to him, and he rushes to her place. He knocks at her door and Patricia promises to teach him everything she knows. That night ends in an intense lovemaking session. Roby sneaks back home late at night, causing his father to ground him. The next day, Alex is angry at Marina as she was heavily drunk at the party, and she had embarrassed him. Patricia approaches Alex and flirts with him for a while. Later, Patricia finds Belle putting draws on her windows. She decides to get rid of the older woman. Belle is distracted when doing her chores, so Patricia sneaks into the basement. When Belle goes to do laundry, she finds that the the lights are not working. She decides to maneuver in the dark, and this causes her to trip over a wire that Patricia had set on the steps. She falls to her death. That evening, Roby comes home and immediately seeks out Patricia. He has passed his math test, but failed his French test. This makes Patricia spank him a few times before the couple starts making love. Their session is interrupted by a loud scream from Marina, who has found Belle's bloody body in the basement. Belle's body is taken away, and Marina is beyond herself in distress. She blames herself for Belle's death. Later on, Patricia approaches Alex in the pool room. She mentions that Marina's abuse of Valium is what is causing her to blame herself for Belle's death, while it's clear that it was an accident. One thing leads to another and before long, Alex confesses that she fancies Patricia. Patricia bends by the pool table, making Alex take her from behind. This whole affair is watched by Roby. When Alex is taking a beer outside, Roby startles him in the dark. He mentions that he will pass his exam and go to summer school, so Alex has to give him the keys. The next day, Patricia volunteers to look after Marina. As usual, she spikes her coffee before giving it to her. She also calls the pharmacy to have the prescription refilled. When Marina is stocked up on drugs and grief, Patricia seduces her. The affair is interrupted by Roby who is just returning home. Marina goes to reprimand him, but he talks back at her, causing her to slap him. Roby goes into his room and slams the door. Patricia approaches him and demands that he apologize to his mother. She also apologizes for what he had witnessed at the pool room saying that Alex had taken advantage of her. Patricia brings in laundry to Marina's room and claims to have found an earring. That night, Roby cries in his room as he hears his parents argue. Marina cries out of betrayal and Alex cries since he believes that his wife is now an addict. In the morning, Roby has a heated confrontation with his father that results in Alex pining him to the wall. That evening, Roby goes to see Patricia and the two have another intense love-making session for farewell. Later, Patricia gives Marina some coffee. After she leaves, Marina wakes up feeling woozy, and she deduces that Patricia must be spiking her coffee. The next day, Roby leaves for summer school leaving Marina and Alex alone. That evening, a heavy storm hits, causing Marina to get jumpy and scared. The power goes off and Marina nearly attacks Alex when he startles her. Marina confesses that Patricia is trying to kill her but Alex ignores it. The next day, Alex spots Patricia's car and finds it odd that she has the car that he had seen Truman drive. In the office, he decides to dig through Truman's things which are still in his office, and he finds out Patricia's identity. She asks a receptionist to call the police before going home. Meanwhile, Marina finds her pet birds dead. She cries in the shower and when she gets out, she finds that Patricia has placed some tea on her bed. Marina tries to fight with Patricia, but she quickly overpowers and ties her down, intending to let her take Valium and slit her throat as her final act of vengeance. Luckily, Alex arrives before any harm is done. Patricia calls him out on his actions, including sleeping with him. She confesses to having slept with his wife and kid. This betrayal causes Alex to smack her in the face, and she falls a story down. When the paramedics and police arrive, they do not find a trace of Patricia. 
That night, Marina exits the bathroom to the same pot of coffee on her bed. She is scared, but Alex consoles her. The couple receives a call from Roby who is settling fine in school. After hanging up, Roby is seen with Patricia in his dorm room. And the movie ends here. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, click any video of three of them, and enjoy next. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. And please like the video, and tell us in the comment how you liked the video. I see you soon.